Hi, I'm Dr. Schmidt. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about sun damage and the things that we do to reverse it. When we talk about the facial aging process, one of the most important things is talking about the skin. Uh, skin aging changes occur in several different ways. You can get textural anomalies, you can get pigment problems, you can get fine lines and wrinkles, and then people get these little superficial blood vessels that are right underneath the surface. These all come as part of the aging process. A big part of that aging process is caused by light exposure. So we need to emphasize that for everybody, if you want to look your best, try to stay out of the sun, or if you have to be in the sun, make sure that you're wearing sunscreen. We recently purchased this. This is a skin scope. And the way that it works is it uses UV light to show you uh, pigment and otherwise sun damage that's going on with your skin. To make sure that it worked, I went in this myself. Now, I don't obviously have a lot of sun damage, but back in my teens, I spent many summers working at summer camps, and we didn't really know about um, sunscreen like we do now. So I got a ton of sun damage by being outside for all those months back in the day. You don't really see it now, but under the skin scope, it's very, very obvious. So, when we talk about reversing sun damage, there's three main ways that we do it. The first is with peels. And with peels, we use chemicals to remove the very, very superficial parts of your skin. And that helps with texture, uh, and it helps to um, get your uh, natural glow back. Um, they can be very superficial or kind of aggressive depending on the combinations of chemicals used and how long they're left on the skin. The second way that we deal with it is with lasers. Lasers focus a very intense amount of light at a very specific frequency depending on what the problem areas of your skin are. That's how we remove tattoos, it's how we remove hair sometimes, it's also how we can remove the um, sun damage. Um, a third is by using intense pulse light. Uh, if you might have heard of something called a photofacial, a photofacial uses intense light, very, very, very bright, to reverse sun damage. The way that it does that is the melanin, the pigment, pigment in your skin, absorbs that light and then gets destroyed. So uh, we're going to use intense pulse light therapy today for me to help to reverse some of these pigment problems and hopefully help my skin texture and reverse some of the sun damage that was done years ago. I'm going to probably have a couple of, diff uh, of photo facials over the next couple of months and then we'll visit again and we'll talk about the difference in how things look uh, under the skin scope. So we're ready to go. We've cleansed my face. I had numbing cream on for about 10 minutes. I've got my squeeze ball. Gail, my esthetician, is going to put some uh, protective things over my eyes. And we'll do it.
right guys, so it's the next morning, the morning after my procedure, and I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about it. During the procedure, the, when the light flashed, it definitely stung, but the stinging went away pretty quickly. Um, the numbing medicine wore, the numbing cream wore off after about maybe an hour following the procedure, and I, I felt warm, but it didn't really hurt. Like, I, I didn't need to take Tylenol or anything like that. Afterwards, I've been doing lots and lots of moisturizer, and today I've got lots of sunscreen on to help to prevent further damage and help my healing. Uh, you can see that I have some darker places on my skin, and that's normal following a photofacial. The, um, the pigment that was there from the sun damage has absorbed all that light and is now starting to leach out. So, so that's normal, and I might expect to have a little peel going in a day or two from now. So, we're going to see how things go. Lots of moisturizer, lots of sunscreen, and then I'll probably repeat this in a month, uh, for probably a total of, of three treatments that are about a month apart. Uh, and then I'll share my experiences with you on my blog. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you soon.